Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. And as promised, we're going to continue on with the Christmas decorations. And we're going to finish with the bauble. So as mentioned in my previous video, my plan is to make a diorama in this bauble, which is hopefully going to go on my Christmas tree. If you guys didn't see that video, I suggest you go and watch it. It's going to have a winter theme and it should be a bit easier because I'm not having to deal with liquid and overly sealing the miniature. So let's find out if it works. So the materials I'm gonna be using for this project include an empty bauble, cork, some cheap super glue, craft knife, some clean cat litter. One has been ground and the other one is just straight out of the bag. PVA glue, UV cured resin, some all purpose filler, an electric tea light, some thin wire and some cotton wool. Right, so now that we've got all the materials ready for the project, it's time to prep the bauble. Now I envision this being a sort of winter scape, as I said, um, but I like the idea of it sort of with the Space Marine coming out of a cave. So I'm gonna prime the outside of the bauble black. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. So little disclaimer, I finished the bauble and put everything inside it. And because I primed it all black, you couldn't really see much of anything, especially, you know, if you're gonna put on your tree or something like that. I was hoping that the tea light inside it would sort of illuminate it a bit more, but it didn't. So don't do what I did. Don't prime the outside of it black at all. Instead, what I would do is attach everything on the inside of the bauble to create your scape. But then at the end, because obviously you'll see all the glue marks on the outside, what you want to do is just cover it then and sort of prime it black or paint it whatever color you like really to disguise all of that. So for the remainder of the video, you'll see the bauble being black and me working on it in that sense, but just ignore it and pretend it's clear. So don't do what I did. Now that I've primed the bauble in black, it's time to add some all-purpose filler to the base. I do this because the actual bottom is quite sunken in, so I wanted to build it up a little bit and sort of get rid of some of that curvature on the sides. I use the filler for this because once it dries, it shouldn't be too heavy and is quite easily spread about. So we're on to basing. And with the basing, we're just gonna be cutting the cork and you know, attaching some texture with the cat litter. I'm gonna start building some of the ledges that I want to include inside the bauble. I'm gonna be using these sort of cork coasters for this. And as you can see, I'm just roughing up the edges because I don't want any straight lines. But the curvature of the side is really helpful because obviously that will mold to the sphere a lot easier. So in preparation to adding the tea light in the later steps, I'm gonna be adding magnets to the cork so that I can then attach the LED tea light because I need it to be attracted to the base. I do this so that you can actually put it in and it's not gonna be all wobbly and shaky if you're putting it on your Christmas tree or anything, it'll be firmly secured, but you can still remove it so you can turn the light on or off. And I'll also be adding magnets to the bottom of the tea light itself. This step was incredibly finicky because obviously I've only got the small magnets at hand. If you've got larger magnets, I suggest using those instead because it'll make your life a lot easier. And you can tell that I got a little bit annoyed by this and how finicky it was because I seem to forget that I'm recording something and my head gets in the way. Now to add some texture to the cork. I'm gonna be covering it in PVA glue, in a nice healthy amount. I'm gonna spread it all the way to the edges. This is how I get complete coverage for when I add the cat litter. Now I'm gonna be using some of the ground cat litter here. And as you can see, using a small tool is a bit redundant. You can use a spoon or anything that's slightly larger, shovel it on and pat it down so it adheres to the PVA glue and keep going until it is fully covered. That single layer of PVA glue we put on the cork isn't going to keep it down. So what we need to do is add some PVA glue to a pot with 50% water, give it a good mix, and then start to apply it to the base. You can use a pipette like I'm using here, or you can actually make a big bowl of this. You've got like a squeezy bottle or something, and you can just drop it on that way. So now to prep the tea light. Because it's plastic, I'm not gonna be using PVA glue because it's not going to adhere as well 
and I'm then going to submerge it in the pot of cat litter so it gives some coverage. Now you might find it's a bit patchy and you might have to repeat this step like two or three times. Once we've done that, I'm now going to add some wire to the tea light. You need about three pieces of this. I'm going to be gluing it onto the base of the tea light and I do this in order to give a skeleton effectively so that we can put the flame effect on top. So with the basing finished, we're now going to move on to the painting and we're going to be painting the cork that we cut and we're also going to be painting the tea light. I'm going to start with the Russian Dark Earth for this in a sort of heavyish dry brush. You can now see how it's bringing out all those details and it's starting to resemble that sort of rocky sort of look we're going for. The second colour I'm going to go with is Dark Sea Blue. Now because this is going to be a winter scape, I want the stone to be cool, so this is going to sort of contrast a bit against the warmer brown and it's going to really sort of start to sell that cold feel that we're looking for. So now dark blue grey, we're going to add this to the dark sea blue at about 50-50 sort of mix. And again I'm going to be dry brushing. This is really good because it always hits the highlights of the object you're painting and it's a relatively quick and cool effect that you can achieve. And you don't need to be too careful with it either. So now we're going to start building up those final highlights and we're now just going to go with straight dark blue grey for this. Now I'm adding less paint to the brush this time and getting rid of most of the excess on my dry brush palette. I'm starting to be a little bit more selective on where I'm dry brushing because I just want certain sections to have that highlight. And now for the final highlight I'm going to be adding white to dark sea blue at about the 50-50 mix. This is going to really desaturate the colour and finish off that final highlight and again remove most of the paint off your brush on your dry brush palette because this is going to be a more subtle highlight. Now with all the cork done you need to repeat this process on the tea light as well because we want it all to blend together in the end result. With the tea light now painted and the wire firmly glued to its base I'm going to start adding some cotton wool. You'll probably need a few good chunks of this and you want to make sure that you cover all the gaps so you don't see any of that wire or through to the tea light itself. And once that's all done, you can then shape it as you like. And because you've got the wire in there, you can bend it a little bit, but just be careful not to apply too much pressure because you might break the wire off from the base. Now we're on to the bauble. And my idea was to paint the base sort of this turquoise color and then cover it with a Grelian Earth by Citadel with a couple of drops of uh, black ink applied to it in order to darken it. But the problem was that the filler that I put in the bottom, I don't think it completely dried properly. So once the grey and earth had dried, it actually prized the, uh, the filler apart. So now it's white as opposed to blue, but you can still see some blue in there. But to counter this, I got some athematic blue contrast paint and I covered the base in that so that all that white part of the filler would be a very light blue, which is effectively the effect I wanted to go for anyway. Now with the athematic blue and the grout mixture fully dry, I now go on to add some of the UV cured resin. Once I'm happy with the amount of UV resin inside, I then cure it with the black light. And as you can see, it's now got that sort of clear sheen on the top with the cracks forming underneath. Right, now to add the spice. And by this, I mean we're going to be adding our space marine. We're going to be adding some grass tufts. We're also going to be adding some snow effects and basically just trying to sell this as a winter theme. We're going to be adding the basing to the sides of the bauble. I start by super gluing the edges and because of the curve, it fits quite nicely and then is relatively easy to do. Okay, so I'm going to start adding some icicles to the scape. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how I make these in this video because in my previous video, which is available on my channel, I go into more detail on how to do that there. So with the cork applied, I'm now going to start adding some of the snow terrain by AK Interactive. Again, this is going to be personal preference and you can add as much or as little as you like. Now for the fun stuff, I'm going to add the Imperial Fist Space Marine that I painted earlier so that we can start to really get a sense of him and what he's going to look like inside the ball ball. Now I decided to add him to the frozen sort of water at the bottom of this so it looked like he was emerging from a cave of some kind. Now with the Space Marine applied, I want to really sell this as a living sort of space. So I'm going to start by adding some frosted grass tufts from AK Interactive. 
And to finish off the snow effect, I'm going to add some snow sprinkles by AK Interactive just to the icicles and to some of the top parts of the snow effect I put in earlier. This is again just so that we can get a little bit of variation in that snow and it also looks really good as you can see if I sort of scrape it all along that resin I put on the bottom. It gives it that sort of snow effect on there too. So with the tea light that we completed earlier, I started by airbrushing the light rust and basically just an orange to the base going up towards the midsection of the fire. I then added matte red which overlapped the midsection near the top and then finally I added some black to sell the idea of it being smoky. Right, so the project's now finished and as I said earlier, barring the mistake I made by priming the bauble black at the start, I'm very happy with how the process went and how it turned out. Now I do apologise that this video has come out after Christmas. Um, like I said in my previous video, uh, it's a bit of a manic period and I underestimated how long it takes to actually edit and produce this video. Again, I hope you guys give it a go. And don't forget, you can do whatever scape you like in it. It doesn't have to be a Christmas theme one. I've just done it because obviously it'd be in the Christmas period. I just thought it'd be a really nice thing for everyone to give it a go. I'll provide links in the description to all the materials I use throughout this project. Hopefully you guys give it a go and I see the results of that. I hope you've all had a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.